Hey, what's going on everyone? How are you guys doing today? It's Nong here, and welcome back to another Steam 2 video. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Randy's Throwing Knife, the ritual weapon for this season, the non-pinnacle weapon of the season. So this is the perks that we have on the weapon. First of all, the Randy's Throwing Knife is a rapid fire frame scout rifle, meaning that it's full auto, but it's also pretty low impact. You're going to be doing around 44 damage per headshot with Randy's Throwing Knife, meaning that you're going to be taking at minimum five shots to kill someone four to the head one to the body that's what you're gonna require to kill someone this is normal for these types of scouts they fire very fast but have very low impact now for the first two perks the barrel perk and the magazine perk there's are actually set perks so we can't really select them you just have to set perks but for our last two choices we actually have two different perks that we can choose for both of them for the first one we can either choose rapid hit or snapshot sights. I think rapid hit is the better one of the two, especially here on console. That's just stability and it's the reload speed are very nice, especially because the reload speed on this thing, if you don't have rapid hit, it's bad. It is super, super slow. So I definitely recommend that you slap on some rapid hit. I think that the weapon already aims fast enough to begin with, so I don't think you need snapshot sights. I definitely think that rapid hit is the better one of the two, especially here on console. Now, for the other two selection of perks, we have a choice between Send Moment, which is going to give us just crazy stability. If you decide to pair it up with Rapid Hit, you basically get no recoil after a couple headshots in. But you can also have Kill Clip. And Kill Clip is not something we usually see on the Scout Rifles, on the Rapid Fire Frames. I think, if I'm not mistaken, although I could be wrong, this is the first Rapid Fire Frame with Kill Clip. But Kill Clip makes this weapon's damage go from 44 to 63 per headshot, meaning that you're usually going to be killing people between 3 and 4 shots, which is definitely much better than killing them in 5 shots. You hit 3 headshots in the body, and that basically kills anyone. That's just way over the damage that you need to actually kill someone. So Kill Clip is actually something that I really like, and something that I basically have just been running. I just run Rapid Hit Kill Clip. And this thing is a monster. Once you get that kill clip going, man, you got just an amazing time to kill. And you really use unstoppable. So for the setup, I definitely recommend that you go with rapid hit uh, kill clip on this thing. It just gives you the most benefits. And it just makes the weapon feel a little bit more unique. Since it does something that some of the other scar rifles like this one can't do. And this also comes with a range master work, which is really good for scouts. So now, what do I actually think about Randy's throwing knife? Well, I've been playing with it for a couple of days. I've been actually using it quite a lot. And I actually think that it can actually be a pretty good weapon. But if you already like these types of scout rifles. If you don't like these types of scout rifles, there's a chance that you probably won't even like the weapon. Because when you don't have kill clip active, it's just the regular old rapid fire frame scout rifle. There's nothing really special about it. There's no special perk about it. The only thing that makes it really special is the kill clip. But you need to actually get a kill with this scout rifle normally to actually activate the kill clip. So normal Randy's without kill clip is a good rapid fire frame. Another thing that makes it unique is that it's in the kinetic slot. If you wanted to run a rapid fire frame before, you had to do it in the energy slot. But now we finally have a kinetic one. So that's another thing that also sets it apart. But like I was saying, without the kill clip, it's just a solid rapid fire frame scout. But there's nothing really super special about it. But once you get the kill clip going, now that's really when you take advantage of this weapon. We have never seen something like this. And when you have the kill clip, it really is a beast. People just don't really expect the type of damage they're gonna hit them with with a scout rifle like this one. So a lot of them get caught off guard and you can just melt them. So if you can get the kill clip going and you can get a nice streak with kill clip, this weapon is amazing. But if you're not really taking advantage of kill clip, then this weapon is just average at best. It's not bad, but it's also not super amazing without the kill clip. So, should you go for Randy's throwing knife? That's the question that we're asking now. Well, like I said, if you like this type of scout rifles, then you definitely should. You are definitely gonna enjoy and get the most of Randy's throwing knife. Or if you just like scout rifles in general, you may actually also like Randy's throwing knife. But if you're not really a scout guy and you like to play a lot more close range, maybe with a shotgun, with a hand cannon, then Randy's throwing knife is probably not going to be for you. 
Especially since this season, it doesn't really have a unique perk like the previous pinnacle weapons, because it's not a pinnacle weapon. It's just a ritual weapon that just did 16 perks used on a class or a type of weapon that we hadn't seen before. Now for the biggest step for going for Randy's throwing knife is just take your time getting the actual uh, scout rifle kills. Make sure that you're using the scout rifle in a map where you can actually use scout rifles. Because a lot of the maps in this game are very close range. And if you use a scout rifle in the wrong map and he's getting rushed by shotguns, it's definitely gonna lead pretty easily to frustration. So you definitely don't want to do that. So while going for Randy's throwing knife, make sure to always have a scout rifle always with you so you can equip it whenever the scout rifle maps pop up. But if you're playing in some other maps, then just play normal crucible with your normal loadout. Don't try to force the scout rifle in every map because not every map is super great for the scout rifles. You can avoid a lot of frustration and hopefully you won't hate the scouts by the end of the quest. So that's gonna be it for this part of the video guys. So if you guys are just interested in what I thought of Randy's throwing knife, then you can click on the video now. But if you wanna watch me play a couple games with it, then definitely stick around, cause that's what we're gonna be doing now. We're gonna be taking this thing to the crucible and playing a little bit with it. So anyways, I think that's enough of me talking. So now let's actually take it to the crucible and let's see how we do. Oh, whoa. Okay, okay, that was interesting. <laughs> Let's see if we can get that guy in the back. Let's make yourselves in this. Man, they're all in like, in those places. <laughs> they keep being on a, on a riff. Every time I see them, they're on the rift. That's a bit of a problem. Not a huge problem, but it's a bit of a problem sometimes. Especially when there's more one than one of them. There we go. That's what we want to see. We want to see the kill clip do that. Wait, is there someone behind him? Yeah, there is. Let's get him. Oh my god, amazing. Oh man, if this weapon was like this all the time, it would be... Really, really broken. Oh, there's no riff. Okay. We got kill clip. I hear them over here. Come on. Wait. He's right there. Oh, couldn't hit him with that. I can see a bit of him. Man, the, the spawns are all over the place <laughs> right now. Okay, let's reload. We do have to reload this thing pretty often, because even though we have an extended mag on the weapon, it has barely any ammo. Let's see, someone has to come through here, and it's a shotgun man. Oh, oh, I heard a blink. Wait. Okay, I know where he ended up. I got you, buddies. Wait. Is that guy use AFK in the middle of the map? How he even... How did he even get to the middle of the map? I don't think that's a spawn point. I, I hope that's not a spawn point. I probably should stick to the outside, but you know, I'm doing my thing here in the inside. And I can't hit headshots. Today is just not my day. <laughs> this is just not my day for the headshots. And there's a bunch of people coming this way. Alright, time to use this. I missed it apparently. Man, I cannot hit anybody with this. Alright, let's see. Oh, everyone just keeps getting caught by the tethers though. Did they get him? No. There you go. They got him. Nice. Now we gotta go get B again. Shotgun. Yeah. 
a shotgun. No, Monte Carlo. Huh. Okay. I did not expect the Monte Carlo to rush me that hard. But I guess I've seen it all now. <laughs> I've seen it all. Wait. Where are you going? Okay. Oh, my God. Appreciate it, buddy. Right, let's go help these guys out. Almost out of ammo, actually. I think we kill maybe like one more guy, and then we'll be out of ammo. Oh, feels bad. <laughs> feels real bad, man. They're back here. Or not? Huh. Where'd they go? Now they're back here. Alright, we're pretty low, so let's make her some this. We got the kill clip again. Should be another one. There he is. Another one? I think that guy was his FK. Okay, before the match ends, we gotta get at least one kill with the tether here. Oh my god. The damage resistance from the tether just saved me. 